Hey y'all, today I'm going to be feeding my family of five on a budget of $15. That is breakfast, lunch, and dinner all for $15. Three meals y'all. $15 in this day and age. Now y'all know this is going to be a legit challenge because the price of everything is going up. But I'm going to try my best to get these three meals under $15. Come here y'all. Now, before I head to the store, I'm gonna give y'all a little background on how I got started with the grocery budget challenges. When my kids were smaller, my husband and I survived on one income. And that one income paid the mortgage, two car notes, utilities, all of the bills, it paid everything. I know what it's like to struggle to feed your kids. There were some days where hubby and I went without just to make sure that they were fed, but those are the sacrifices that we make as parents. So today I'm taking it all the way back to those days when I had to get really creative to make those grocery dollars stretch. I'm only shopping at one store. I'm not going all over town chasing all of these deals. I'm shopping at one store and that one store is walmart the footage you are about to see is of a mom who was in over her head within budget or do you think I went over budget? Let me know down in the comment section. I'll let you know later in the video how much everything costs. I'll let you know if I went over or if I was under budget. But first, let me get out of these outside clothes. I don't like wearing outside clothes inside the house. I don't know if y'all are the same way, but I do not like wearing outside clothes in the house. So let me change clothes and then I'm gonna get to cooking because I have some hungry faces staring at me. Everybody's ready to eat. This can of biscuits is the source of many triggers. How many of y'all hate the sound it makes when you open it? It did not disappoint because that pop was so much louder than I was expecting. is bacon grease. I say this every time I cook bacon and I store it in the refrigerator. I want my sausage to have that bacon -y flavor. This is what it looks like. I have a lot of bacon fat. There you go. That's what I'm cooking with. Checking the middle of the sausage to make sure it's not pink on the inside. There's nothing worse than biting into a piece of sausage and the whole inside is pink.
ain't good. Get five stars. This five star. This no, nah, this three hundred out of this three hundred out of ten. Three hundred out of ten. For good. Right for your bustin' bustin'. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it busting? Yeah. <laughs> the running discussion in the Allen household is do hot dog wieners taste better when you boil them on top of the stove or bake them in the oven i like mine cooked in the oven with onions on top however my husband and boys like them boiled so the only thing that i did not buy at the store is the ketchup the relish and this is mustard from whataburger now one thing that you can do is if you don't have condiments what we do is grab extra condiments when we go to the store so this is our condiment drawer get you some free condiments and that will lower your out of pocket when you are making dishes that require ketchup mustard you know things like that so now everyone is going to dress their hot dog and then we're going to eat lunch for dinner we are having the knockoff chick-fil-a chicken sandwich it was cheaper for me to get chicken thighs with skin on but since i don't need the skin i'm cutting it all off and removing the bone and fat now the actual recipe calls for a chicken breast but you know that's that was way out of my budget now for this meal i'm using staple items and seasonings that i keep in my pantry once i finish removing the skin i give them a good wash and remove any additional fat and slime After they are thoroughly cleaned, I get a Ziploc bag and pour a half a cup of pickle juice and a quarter cup of water in it. And then I'm gonna place the chicken in the refrigerator to marinate for 30 minutes. So that my chicken is very flavorful, I have some paprika, chili powder salt and pepper i also have one egg a cup of flour three tablespoons of powdered sugar and a half a cup of milk oh yeah and baking powder to make the crust nice and crispy these are all essential items that i keep in my spice drawer and cabinets now i could have just baked the chicken with salt pepper and added a little butter but i know my family and even though i'm doing a 15 dollars grocery challenge it has to make sense for my family i'm cooking things that i know they will eat which in the end will result in me not wasting money if you want to do any type of grocery challenge check your pantry refrigerator and freezer first before going to the store get creative with your meals there's no right or wrong way to do this and as a mom you know exactly what your family will and won't eat so take that knowledge and put together a meal plan that's a perfect fit for your household right now i'm just dipping the chicken straight from the pickle juice and into the egg and milk mixture then i'm placing it back in the flour and seasonings and then i'm dipping it back into the egg and milk mixture and back into the flour and seasonings so basically i'm double dipping each piece of chicken this gives it that extra crunch
Oh, is it good? Yeah. You know. Typical good. I'm gonna try this. What? Oh, man. <laughs> I took the wrong plate? Yeah, because I'm on honey mustard and I'm not doing that shit for any mustard other than Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make you have a heart attack? <laughs> Does it taste like Chick fil A? Burn! <laughs> Mongoose! <laughs> I'm preaching the wall! That's good! Alright, give me your turn. Mm. That's right, Mama Filet about to open her restaurant, huh? Mama. <laughs> about to have Mama Filet. So how much did I spend out of pocket? Let's find out. Space and now I'm so 